So the ISFP, right? So they've got a secret, let's just call it superpower, that I've really come to admire and kind of steal for myself. So let's kind of do a overall breakdown here. So half the ISFPs out there, as you know, are F-I-S-E. So that's the consume. They're gathering in stuff from the outside world for the self. And then the other half of the ISFPs out there are F-I-N-I. And that's going to be the sleep energy. So very introspective. They're processing stuff in their inner world. How does this relate to me? What am I going to do with it? What's my life plan? So these are going to be kind of more of the organizing ISFPs, right? All the ISFPs are going to have that trouble with that TE down there. Like, ah, how do you express that to the tribe? How do you communicate your ideas? All that kind of stuff is going to be a little bit harder with that TE way down there, right? So what is the superpower of the ISFP? ISFPs, no matter what kind they are, they know what they like. And they know how to prioritize it. So, for example, you ask an ISFP, hey, what do you like? Like, I like guitar. All right, well, what are the top three things you like in your life? I like guitar, beers, and karaoke night. Like, okay, how did you know that so fast? Well, it's just what I like. It's what I do. They can write this down for you. They can put it on a list. They can explain it to you. Like, they know very well what they like, why they like it, and how to go get it, right? Now, of course, where their giant fumble fucks is on the N and the T. Like, hey, what's your plan here? How are you going to make this apply in real life? How are you going to work with others? How's this going to work 10 years down the road? You know, all that kind of stuff. Like, ah, crap. What is so useful is that they're able to lock on, generally speaking, pretty quick on what it is they like in the physical world. Like, for example, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube, Charles Benson. He's an ISFP guy. He's kind of a, he's kind of a masculine ISFP guy, right? And so he's very good at what he likes. He's real good at the guitar. And I'll talk to you all day long about music. And so this is just something that's natural and normal to him of like, hey, I know what I like. I know what I'm good at. And this is what I want to rock. Now, the challenge is then, okay, what do I do with that? How do I build that? How do I scale that? Now, you reverse that with a lot of the people that we, we talk to of like, a lot of people have a really hard time prioritizing. Go ask some ENTJ or INTJ, hey, could you give me a top three priority list of what it is that you need to get done this year? What is it that is the most important, valuable thing to you in order one, two, and three? Oh, well, I like to do this and I can do that and I need to do this and everybody needs me to do that and I need to do this and I need to do this. Like, hey, what is it that you are prioritizing? Oh, I, I'm good at a lot of things. And so for so many people, they struggle so hard to go, this is what I prioritize. This is what I like. This is what I value. And I can write it down down in the sensory and therefore get moving in a direction. And the ISFP is the other way around. It's very easy for them, generally speaking, compared to the other people at scale, right, to know what they like, to prioritize it. And then they have the challenge of then, okay, how do I get this going in real life? So some advices for all the ISFPs out there and non-ISFPs out there. What I've really found is that this is another reason why you always have to have a partner. Are you going to meetups or are meeting people online that are opposite of you? If you're an ISFP, yeah, you need to partner with an executor. You need to partner with some crazy EJ that's just running around getting shit done and having no idea what to work on next, and you just point him in a goddamn direction, right? And if you are a crazy EJ or somebody who has a hard time prioritizing and you're good at executing the outside world, then you got to find somebody who is really good at prioritizing and can point your dumb ass in a direction. This is what's worked for me for so many years is I've always had somebody in my life very opposite of me to help me kind of get that other half so I could balance the prioritizing and the executing.